Hey, are you serious? So she told you she could order anal beads online. Did she say anything about the quality? Ugh. Okay, I gotta, oh. Hey, uh, hey YouTube, uh, man, hey, it's your boy Young Dub, man. Ah, yeah, so I'm coming at y'all with another video here, man. We got an update. Uh, this is one I should have did uh, quite a while ago, man. Uh, this thing has been sitting around, what is this, June? It's been sitting around since, I don't know, a little bit after Memorial Day, maybe around like the beginning of this month. Um, we're at the point of mid-June now. Uh, like I said, I should have did this a while ago. Uh, this is one of those updates that came along the way after um, the whole fiasco with the little JY Power Green Bean battery. Um, like I said, I'd had more stuff coming on the way. The objective at that time was to have some more uh, of those JY Power Green Bean Lithium cells uh, to come along to team up with that battery to make a, a battery bank. But um, at the time, I could kind of kind of see the writing on the wall uh, with the individual that I was dealing with as far as going back and forth and what, whether or not they were going to come off of their sales. Uh, so I bought this uh, as a backup and had this sitting around in the corner. And yeah, she's been sitting around in the corner. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of been using it as um, something to prop some stuff up on, man. But since I'm getting to the point to where I'm moving forward in the build, uh, might as well go ahead and get this joker open. Uh, like I said, I probably should have just did this video um, just to put it up there, to be honest with you, man, because if you go searching through YouTube, uh, I don't see anything about this. Uh, and even when I tried to do some research uh, via Facebook.com, um, I got a couple of people that you know came through on a post that I had put up and was like, yeah, I'm using it, uh, pretty good battery, yada, yada, yada. Uh, some people, um, well, I'll put it this way, a lot of the people uh, that hopped on that post was like, man, I don't know anything about it. I keep hearing good things. Uh, so, you know, if you can inform me about it, let me know, and we'll go from there. And I'm like, yeah, uh, I'll get around to it sooner or later. And it was much later than sooner. Uh, but nevertheless, we're here now, uh, so let's go ahead and get this open. So this right here in front of you is just going to be a pure, pure unboxing video. Um, this is, yes, you can see it right there. It is from batteryhookup.com. This is the one that they call the Monster or Beast module. Uh, so pretty sure I'll put that in the title uh, just for the individuals that are looking at it or looking for it. Um, Clearly, this is how it comes. Uh, don't really have. I guess the main thing for me to do right now is try to get up out of this box. Uh, but this is their mock-up of the headway cells. Uh, so, like I said, I honestly I probably should have did this um, did this unboxing a long time ago, uh, so I can know what I'm getting myself into as far as with these headway cells and the way that they got this thing uh, rigged up here. And I almost want to go get some gloves because uh, she is not clean. But let me get it out and just see what I got myself into here. I might have to rip this box open. Yeah, I'm not. This this looked like a doggone AC unit <laughs> on the back of somebody's home, man. Uh, give me just a second. I'm actually going to go and get some gloves because I'm not feeling a whole. Uh, metal sheet that's on top of this here. And we're back. So, had to go some gloves to get this thing going. Um, basically what I did, I went ahead and just opened the box up, you guys, uh, due to the fact that that took a while and I didn't want this video to be 20 minutes long. I mean, I guess it could be, but um, finally got everything out of the box had to get some gloves and you see the condition of the gloves i promise you they were a lot wider before we started this video uh but we finally got uh the actual battery itself down here on the table um this here i kind of i guess i should scoop this over so this thing i guess like they said on the website they came as uh backup to transformers uh, so they are used cells, uh, but I guess they had minimal use. So they, I mean, they, they're saying that they should uh, work like new, but yeah. So it came in this freaking metal case uh, with this fan on the side of it. So I'm going to just throw this down on the ground. Um, 
I honestly don't know what to do with this freaking metal casing. Uh, I'm definitely not gonna use it. I'll put it that way. I guess I should turn my camera. So, uh, came with this metal casing. Uh, like I said, along with this fan on it. Um, that is in the description on batteryhookup.com. Um, and according to them, couple, according to them, you just need a screwdriver and um, some wrenches and you can get this thing free. Um, hopefully y'all can see it on. I'm not sure if it's gonna come through on camera. Yeah, I guess it's coming through. That thing is freaking filthy. Uh, so I'll have to get around to cleaning that up, man. But they, like I said, on the website, according to them, uh, you can just get it done with um, some wrenches and some screwdrivers. I'm just gonna push all of this over here. In fact, I guess I'll sit on top of the battery because it's still got the plexiglass on it. Uh, but like I said, this thing is freaking filthy. So I'll have to get around to cleaning it up. But yeah, so this right here, along with a pair of vice grips, is what I had to do in order to get this thing open. And if I get to sneeze, forgive me, because like I said, man, y'all see my gloves. This thing is filthy, uh, it's full of dust, but I guess that's what I got myself into as far as uh, doing a DIY battery. So for those that aren't um, real crazy about doing this hobby, you might want to take a look at Underground Power. Uh, just go ahead and get you a battery where you can go ahead and slap that joker inside your car and be done with it. Uh, I want to be extra car audio guy this year, so I'm trying to do a DIY project. Uh, but hopefully y'all can see it down here where my finger's at. Um, in order for me to get her out of that metal casing, there's a ton, probably, I don't know, maybe 30 screws or something like that. I got a bunch down here uh, that you probably can't see. Um, the ones that I kept on this cardboard pad are pretty good these over here i guess i'll throw them on there as well because um they're pretty decent but i'll say let me pick this up so you can see all those screws um trust me it's a lot more than it looks like and there's also over um i don't know i don't know how you're looking at this to the left of the screen there's tons more screws but the problem with the screws is they started stripping. Uh, so I was trying to make it easier on myself to get out of that metal case because I'm like, like I said, it kind of looked, it looked like a um, air conditioning unit on the back of somebody's home or maybe the one that hangs out the window, man. But uh, there was a good, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 of the screws uh, that were stripped. So uh, in order for me to get those off, I went ahead and got going with the, um, the vice grips because I was trying to get them out with, with my drill. Uh, then we got resorted to the screwdriver and then I had to get this one going here. Um, it's got a different head in there now, but I had a little um, number four for my torque screw uh, kit. Was using that because uh, the way the screws had um, strip, I was using a flat head to try to get them out of there and they just kept stripping, man. So I was like, okay, this is going from bad to worse. Uh, so. Uh, worst case scenario, I got the vice grips, uh, got them down, pinched the head, and just put that good torque on them, got them out of there, man. So, um, here we are. So, now we're finally to the point to where you can actually see those headway cells. And I guess I'll pull this down here and get this stuff off of it. So, now I'm looking at it. Uh, I know what a lot of people like to do. Uh, this here is where you have to cut it. Uh, so if you're on batteryhookup.com and says just cut the cell down the middle, uh, then that'll make it a um, 12 volt cell because right now, as configured, is technically a 24 volt system uh, or battery. So right now, I guess basically what you do is you cut this cell down here down the middle and that turns it into a 12 volt deal. So it's up to the individual who's bought this thing um, whether or not they want to keep it looking like this here. I know a lot of people uh, take these bus bars out, break the cell down completely, which I'm going to do as well. Uh, they break the cell down completely and they turn it into uh, uh, aluminum bus bar. So I'll have to get in touch with a couple of individuals that have done this battery. Like I said, I had a guy on Facebook that uh, came along and let me know. Uh, but like I said, there's not, there's not really a bunch of information out there on this cell. 
so I got a good feeling that this, uh, this video is going to pick up a lot of steam. Uh, probably going to have a lot of DIY people coming through and I'll probably go ahead and do a part two to this video, uh, just to do an update and show what I've done, uh, as far as, uh, getting those cells out of this, uh, plexiglass and breaking her completely down, cleaning them up. Um, that's the first thing I'm going to, like I said, man, I'm two seconds away from sneezing due to, uh, all the dust here, man, but I'm going to break her down completely, get her cleaned up, uh, get everything configured the way I want to. Like I said, really all you got to do is cut this down the middle and then you can get her going. Um, but it's got all this extra stuff on here and it's uh, real tacky looking, man. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and break it down like everybody else did uh, to make her look presentable, uh, get her cleaned up and eventually go ahead and slap her out in the car and uh, see what we can do here, man. So supposedly she's got some grade A power on her, man. Like I said, the people that if you go to DIY uh, Lithium on Facebook, I... The numbers are, you know, or obviously just depending on what your setup looks like as far as your electrical alternators and things like that, man. But according to them, um, I believe they said it could put out uh, up to 500 amps of power or something like that. I, I'll have to verify those numbers or 200 amps, something like that, man. I, I got to take a look and uh, just make sure, like I said, I, this is one of those deals where it's like, okay, man, I, I got the Joker. I wanted to grab it. Um and see what the deal was. So I believe they said, I believe they said 500 amps or 200 amps continue, something like that, man. So uh, this will definitely be one of those updated videos uh, to where, you you know, like I said, might, might do a part two, part three, uh, something like that, just to keep everybody's um, questions answered. Because like I said, I'm pretty doggone sure there's going to be a lot of questions on this thing, man. So uh, just as far as the unboxing, man, this is how it comes. Pretty doggone filthy. <laughs> so uh, you get it in that metal case. You got some work to do as far as getting all of those screws out of there. Uh, hope to God maybe the one you get is in better condition than uh, the one I had as far as the metal casing. Like I said, 1,700 screws, trying to get all those screws out of there, man. And um, finally getting away to that good old headway cell, man. So should have 32 of those in there. Uh, I'll, like I said, I'll go ahead and break her down. Maybe do a part two video on that, man. It just depends on how much steam this video picks up and we'll go from there, man. So y'all stick around. Like I said, man, I got a lot of stuff uh, laying around here uh, that I'm trying to get around to as far as doing the unboxing videos. And hey, same time, I'm trying to do a giveaway, man. I got that, um, what was it, uh, that Comet War. So um, I think, what's today? The 24th, I believe. If y'all can get on it, uh, make sure that y'all get those comments. Like I try to tell people, hey, get your family or whoever to come comment under that uh, section that you got there. Get those views up here. I think we're on 150, and I'm running the contest till tomorrow, I believe. So I'm trying to get some stuff away, man. So we'll see what's the deal with that. Uh, hopefully she'll make the views, and we'll go from there, man. So y'all know the deal, man. Any comments, questions, concerns, especially, like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a good deal of comments and questions about this thing right here. I try to get back to everybody, man. And y'all know the doggone deal, man. Two zero, two one. If your mirrors ain't shaking, damn it, you got to take it, man. It's your boy Young Dub trying to do the budget system. Two zero, two one, man. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one.